Well, firefighters in Canada are about to get more help from Massachusetts. Yeah, crews have been working up there to get the upper hand on dozens of out-of-control wildfires. Our chief meteorologist, Eric Fisher, is back. And Eric, the scope of this problem, pretty extraordinary. Yeah, it's been a very, very unusual season for how much has burned so early in the wildfire season. It really doesn't end until it starts snowing later on in the fall. More than 10 million acres have burned across Canada, and they've been raging since early last month. Now, today, this crew, including 14 wildland firefighters and two firefighters from Mass Wildlife, they left for Quebec for a two-week-long mission. There are 77 active fires burning in the province of Quebec right now. Help is also coming from other New England states and New York. DCR Commissioner Brian Arrigo says the team from Massachusetts is prepared. And the challenges are all the same. It's the fire behavior, of course, um, that they'll encounter. They're trained to handle that. But there's human factors as well, and so when we go to Quebec, for instance, there's always a language barrier, and so we, uh, we're good at, mi at mitigating that, right? So we put translators in place. Um, we have to mitigate all of those common human factors. Everybody has to understand their assignment, understand the terminology, uh, and so that everybody comes home safe at the end of the shift and at the end of the assignment. Well, this is the second time this summer that Massachusetts has sent a team north of the border. The first return home on Friday. Commissioner Arrigo says the majority of the Canadian fires are started by lightning strikes, which is very different from Massachusetts or much of the United States, where 98 percent are human caused, whether on purpose or by accident. And most of them burning in Canada, very remote areas, are very difficult to fight. And their policy is often to let them burn, which is why we've seen a lot of smoke. Now, that smoke is not particularly dense anymore across the eastern U.S., which is some good news. Some more is drifting down to the Great Lakes as we head into Friday, but not expected to be a big issue here in New England skies. There is an unrelated air quality alert tomorrow. So during the afternoon, Boston northward through Essex County in the seacoast, ground level ozone. It's a different type of issue. We see it on hot summer days typically. But if you are very sensitive to air quality, it's another day. You might want to take it easy outdoors in these locations.